の人嫌いえき君があのでっかい I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 times smug anime characters got wrecked. For this list, we'll be looking at those satisfying moments from across anime where jerks received a healthy dose of instant karma. Which comeuppance did you enjoy watching unfold? Let us know in the comments, and as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBow, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which anime list you want to see next. Number 10 Lark vs Fenkin Black Clover one training montage truly can make all the difference. Taking on one of the Spade Kingdom's many level zero mages, it seemed that the trigger-happy Lug had met his match, given how his lightning magic couldn't penetrate the hide of this bulky foe. <laughs> Of course, if there's one thing the luck does best, it's bringing the thunder when it counts. Svenkin's boasts about having impenetrable skin simply start to lose their weight when he's left with a luck sized hole in his gut. Number 9 Zebes, the misfit of Demon King Academy. Cocky characters getting owned in a power fantasy is practically a rite of passage by this point. Unfortunately for Zebes, he chose to mess with the most OP chad of them all, Anos Death Can't Kill Me, Voldigode. <laughs> he doesn't just own the arrogant demon, he breaks Zebes into pieces with nothing more than his heartbeats. <laughs> And that's all before instantly reviving him using the three second rule just so he can snap his fingers and do it all over again. Rebirth has never looked so brutal. Number 8 Shadow Commander Fire Force. Revenge is a dish best served with a puff of the good stuff. <sighs> So Confronting the members of the Shadow of the Holy Sun, Joker ends up clashing with his old captain. The man who took great delight in torturing and defiling him in his youth, just so he would better serve as an agent of the church. While the commander remained skilled, he wasn't prepared for Joker's hallucinogenic smoke. <laughs> Combined with a full deck of Razor playing cards, it's clear that Joker had all aces from the get-go. Number 7, Flazard, Dragon Quest The Adventures of Die. While we would have loved to have seen more of this bombastic mesh of elements, the writing was on the wall for the Blizzblaze Legion Commander. Even after being given a second chance at life along with an indestructible set of armor, Flazard stood no chance against the might of a complete Avan Strash. After mastering the third and final style of swordplay on the fly, Dai was instantly able to slice through Flazard's core thanks to perfecting his master's signature technique. Adios, you walking contradiction. <laughs> Number 6, Dispo, Dragon Ball Super. About time adult Gohan channeled some of the badassery that he had when he was a teen. In the midst of the Tournament of Power, it falls to Goku's son to take down the speediest member of Universe 11 squad. Constantly going on about his godly agility, the talking rabbit grated on a lot of nerves really quickly. But nothing that couldn't be solved by trapping him in a cage made of Freezer's finger beams, setting the stage for Gohan to get up close and personal with those fists.
Number 5. Chocolata JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind Giorno is a man with a dream to be a gangster who protects the innocent through the control of crime. Too bad for Chocolata that beating the crap out of murderers until they're literal trash falls squarely within that margin. The psychotic servant of Diavolo might have poisoned all of Rome with his stand, but not even he can withstand the unrelenting ferocity of a seven-page Muda. <laughs> Channeling his heritage, Giorno and Gold Experience continuously beat on Chocolata until that sadistic smile, along with all of his bones, has been pounded to dust. <laughs> Number 4. Kujan Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans he may not have committed as many war crimes as some of his contemporaries, but at least they knew when to shut the hell up. Kujan was an infuriating, privileged brat of a pilot who had utterly convinced himself he was an honorable warrior instead of a coward with delusions of grandeur. So much so that during the final battle on Mars, he threw himself into the fray against a half-dead Akito, who promptly crushed him inside of his own mobile suit. And every moment of it is glorious. <laughs> Number 3 Muhammad Ali Jr. Baki Just goes to show that too much pride can indeed kill a man, or at the very least, leave him so battered and bruised that he's left with half a tongue. <laughs> Determined to prove himself stronger than Baki in every way, the son of the legendary boxer challenges Jack Hammer to a showdown, confident his style can overcome the giant of a man. Surprise, Baki's brother is in another league, which he proved by splattering the poor bugger with punches that will make you shudder. <laughs> Number 2. Spear Hero The Rising of the Shield Hero Out of the four cardinal heroes, this guy is by far the most infuriating. Granted all the privileges this fantasy world had to offer, it didn't take much for the conniving mine to wrap the self-deluded Motoyasu around her finger. Not only was he easily duped into believing all her lies about Naofumi, but the spear hero proved himself to be a brainless oaf of his own accord. <laughs> Not to mention having a creepy penchant for Philo and, well, women in general. Naturally, seeing the shield hero best him in a duel and getting his nuts kicked in by a giant chicken was wholly cathartic. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Shogo and Kyoya That time I got reincarnated as a slime. Who would have guessed watching a duo of isekaias get savaged by a pair of monsters would make for such a satisfying watch? Of course, the two other wielders were a pair of heinous bastards who relished the chance to slay the innocence of Tempest. <laughs> Only this time, there was no anti-magic barrier to weaken the home team, allowing Hakuro and Geld to go all out and bring the pain. Kyoya got his head chopped off so quickly his body was left playing catch-up, while Shogo's regenerative power was turned against him when he got his body pummeled into a crater. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.